nestling in the heart of the princely state of Hyderabad is Usmania University. Founded in 1917 by far-sighted Mir Usman Ali Khan of the Asad Jahi dynasty and the seventh Nizam of Hyderabad, who signed the Farman, Royal Order, to establish Usmania University to serve the cause of education in the region. This was the seventh university in British India, one of the first ten in the subcontinent. First in the subcontinent to have Urdu, the local language, as the medium of instruction. Mir Usman Ali Khan acquired about 2,500 acres of land from the learned courtesan Mahlaka Bai Chandas Adikmet Jagir and transferred it to the university. The university got its present sprawling campus in the year 1934 and the iconic Arts College building in Pink Granite was inaugurated in 1938. Factoring the student-centric initiatives, inclusivity and gender equity, the university has been consistently rated among the top universities in the country. National Institutional Ranking Framework 26th rank among all the Indian universities. 32nd rank overall ranking category NIRF 2021. 141st rank by QS World Bricks for the year 2019. About 1001 1200 rank by QS World University rankings of 2022. 301 350 among universities in Asia category by QS Asia Ranking 2020. 32nd rank by QS World India Ranking for the year 2020. Accredited with A plus grade by the National Assessment and Accreditation Council, the University Grants Commission has accorded the University with Potential for Excellence to the University. The university faculty have been actively publishing in national and international journals. The figures in the Scopus database is 2021 350, 2020 809, 2019 750, 2018 765. Keeping in view the careers of nearly 7.70 lakh students, the university conducted the annual exams offline observing COVID protocols and also announced the results in record time. BE Computer Engineering from 2019-20 AICTE model curriculum is introduced for BE, ME, MTech programs. Other academic initiatives include 60-hour employability skill training coaching is provided to all 7th semester BE students. A bridge course is provided to lateral entry students and a national level hackathon program. Thanks to the efforts of the former in-charge Vice-Chancellor, Mr. Arvind Kumar, the campus has added more green cover due to the Miyawaki style tree plantation. The Professor G. Ramredi Center for Distance Education has decided to have two semesters during an academic in two spells. The Bharat Ratna Dr. B. R. Ambedkar Research Centre was established under RUSA 2.0 on 17th May 2019. The University has entered into MOUs with Central Power Training Institute CPTI, Telangana State Southern Power Distribution Company Limited TSSPDCL Hyderabad, Commissionerate of Collegiate Education Government of Telangana. 
International Crops Research Institute for Semi-Arid Tropics, Osmania General Hospital, National Small Industries Corporation Limited Technical Services Center, Cybersecurity and Cyber Law, University of Texas Rio Grande Valley USA, TIE Grad Indus Entrepreneurs Hyderabad. The University Foreign Relations Office conducted a short-term intensive course in English for ICCR scholars from Afghanistan and an orientation program for the ICCR students admitted during the academic year 2019-20. In the process of adopting new initiatives, Usmania University is opening up platforms for massive open online courses, MOOCs and Swayam through distance education of Usmania University. RUSA 2.0 Under the 107 crore grant of RUSA 2.0, centers of excellence and mini centers of excellence were established. OU Technology Business Incubator Center for Biodiversity and Conservation Studies Center for Microbial Fermentation Technology Center for Product Design, Development and Additive Manufacturing Center for Cyber Security and Cyber Law Center for Telangana Studies the mini centers of excellence include Center for Nanomaterials for Energy and Sensor Applications Center for New Molecules in Health and Environmental Applications Center for Earth Science System for Resource Management Center for Training and Research in Arts Centra Advanced Center for Social Sciences, ACSS Center for Arbitration Center for Advanced Legal Studies Center for Smart City Services driven by Internet of Things, Machine Learning and Artificial Intelligence Algorithms Center for Green Processing Technologies Center for Promotion of Financial Literacy Center for Excellence in Sport Science Center for Digital Education Technology Sahayam, the counseling center under the aegis of RUSA, counseled nearly 200 inmates of the Chanchalguda jail during the lockdown period. The university is the alma mater to a galaxy of stalwarts in diverse fields and efforts have been augmented to bring all the alumni under one umbrella. Agenda 21 In a bid to face intense competition and the cataclysmic changes in the academia, the university under the Vice-Chancellorship of Professor D. Ravinder has chalked out a 21-point agenda. Some aspects include setting up a civil services academy to train students to appear for UPSC and other competitive examinations and establishing a human capital development center. Also on the agenda is to launch new courses and expand the existing ones. The university has launched the BA Honors courses in Economics and Political Science and Cluster System in select colleges. Issue of unique identity cards to students to be used for diverse purposes is on the anvil. As part of the Women Empowerment, the University Administration has decided to create a major spaces to the women faculty. Critical administrative positions have been filled by women faculty, which is happening for the first time in the university history. Further, the action plan includes Give a Philip to Research Ecosystem Launch skill-based programs Enhance employability and communication skills. Foundation stone has been laid for the Kalo India project worth 13 crore rupees by Shri Kishan Reddy, 
Union Minister for Tourism and Culture, Sri Srinivas Gaud, Minister for Sports, Telangana. The e-office university management system has been launched and the university will be the nodal center for other universities in the state. The university has drawn up elaborate plans to set up the Indo-Pacific Institute, the first of its kind on campus and it has been cleared by the Ministry of External Affairs. A new 500-bed centenary hostel is ready for occupation as a part of infrastructure development in addition to creation of IT hubs, interactive websites, creation of online information system, round-the-clock internet access that is campus-wide network to both faculty as well as students.